the divorce to be announced in the spring of 2023 or early summer 2023. There is too much that is being told and said about the stability of the duo's relationship. It's over, it's been over, it's just a matter of them announcing it. This divorce is not a mutual decision and the one who wants to book to do well is not the one who is ending this marriage. I knew Harry blew his top when Netflix and Penwin approached them about the discrepancies in the narrative, almost all of which were in Meghan's words. He is livid about that. He's also sick of Meghan's schemes for money and her lying cons. He very well could be trying to secure his place to land after the fallout of his so-called marriage. I'm almost sure that's what he is doing. Actually, I'm waiting on some more deets about what's actually going down in Monteshit show. The book is the last straw. With the rumors of the fights coming out of that marriage, it's just my hunch that it can't make it much longer. Finally, Harry's not accompanying Meghan to Indianapolis. He is just tired of her and he's found out some things that she has done and said which makes him and her look like complete idiots and liars. He is not taking it well. All of this on top of the already strained relationship and it's just too much. The name of the staff is unknown because they are concerned about her safety. They said. I know everyone wants names, but that is what makes a source a source and keeps the information coming out. We don't give up our sources, for their safety and ours. I have been doing for a very long time and have made really great connections and friends in almost seven years. This news is not a big surprise to all of us as the divorce was predicted before. Especially, after many fights that the couple has had so far. After Queen's funeral, their every fight seems to get more extreme, with violence and swears they throw at each other. Recently, both have their own PR plans which have nothing to do with the other. They seem to separate the way to work together. Harry spends his money and Meghan spends hers. Harry would prefer that relationship to just quietly fade away, then he could come home and live away from the spotlight. Some hope of that however, for his beloved will want her pound of flesh, in monetary terms and ongoing publicity. He will still be milked. If he divorces, maybe he will continue to play polo with spurs that make the horse's flesh bleed, while Andrew is content to hunt birds. For Meghan, what she demands and what she gets are two different things. Harry has very little money left, in fact he may be able to claim money from her as most deals were in her name because she is a US citizen and Harry isn't. Some royal fans predict that Brad Pitt is the next name for Meghan's game. It's said in a comment, maybe it was Brad Pitt she was trying to get close to, that was apparently another one of her ambitions, to marry him, that's when she will let J.H. go free, remember when we thought she was setting J.H. up to look unfit mentally so she could have the kids, now this book of his is being released with most likely further evidence the biggest reveal in the divorce will be if there are kids. Another analyzed. I think she was going to wait until the inheritance from the Queen Mother arrived, was supposed to be when he was 40, but we hear Anne has astutely upped that to 45. Will she hang around five more years, getting further and further away from her cell by date? Right now, they have to continue their charade until the book is published and the Netflix documentary aired, then I suspect it will be open season on the Harkles and it will all be over.